Andy Hilton here with Recruit 757 and Coach Chris Scott of Ocean Lakes High School after a Dolphin win, 35 to 23, capping a 10 and 0 season for the Dolphins. Coach, it really was a tale of two halves. With a minute, a little over a minute to go, you guys were down 17 nothing and poured it on from there. Yeah, I think uh, you know, they're a great team. We knew we knew that they would come out and. Uh, be upset about that loss last week and come out and play and they came out in the first half and we came out and I think they, they got on top of us a little, obviously a little bit there but uh, we kept telling our guys be resilient be resilient and that sounds cliche but that's that's what you need to be this time of the year and it was a great test for us and I just I'm just happy how the guys responded Church Harrell coming out there and uh, showing showing that he's an elite guy in this area at quarterback and um, putting it up in the air and getting us two quick ones uh, right before the half was huge you yeah, know uh, it really was um could have been a tale of miss missed opportunities, fumbles, penalties, mm -hmm. um, drop passes. There were a lot of things that happened tonight that really didn't happen to you or didn't affect you earlier this season. Right, and and I think that uh, with that said, you know you have to look at those things and say that that we can't do those things against greater competition, and that's pretty good competition. I mean that's one of the top sure. teams in Division Five. With that said, we didn't start turning on ourselves. We didn't say, it's just not our day or any of that. And that's the thing that you got to, because you know all those guys can make those plays. And that's the freakish part. That's the freakish part. There's a fumble at the goal line, the drop touchdown. You know, these guys lead the area in making touchdowns. And, and so those things, you got to keep your mind and keep your keep your heart back to back with the rest of the guys that you line up next to you. And then you go in there and, you, and, and you're able to get a second half like you got. Now, uh, a lot of key plays, a lot of key players tonight. But I have to say, Brandon Simmons, carried the team when it came to crunch time. Ah, hands down, hands down, and he's uh, he's conditioned himself to do so. Uh, he's probably one of the best uh, best human beings in regards to uh, his focus and the way that he just treats others and the way that uh, the way that he's ready to, to help out others, whether it's his teammates or people off the field, and he wanted that load, and he's been working for it all year. He's done it in the weight room. He's done it in condition, and uh, he may be undersized, and uh, if you underestimate him, he shows that, what, that he has the willpower and the skill to get it done. Brandon. When it came to crunch time, you made the big carries tonight. Let's talk about how your night went. Uh, pretty much, um, I just uh, really just tried to uh, stay poised and uh, just keep my composure. You know, being that we were down, I just had to be a senior leader and uh, just be mature and just step up and make plays. And I feel that, you know, from the experiences last year, definitely going back to the bird game, and, you know, the thing about crunch time, I just think that uh, pretty much I just took that as motivation and I just uh, took that and uh, just did what I had to do. And I just my linemen did what they had to do and I just, uh, just made plays. Now, how do you take this game moving forward? Obviously, you were involved in the playoff run last year. You have that experience under your belt. What's going to be different? What's better about Brandon Simmons this year compared to last year? Well, I, pretty much, um, I would just say uh, that I learned a lot from last year. Um, I've seen a lot of things that I did wrong. I've seen a lot of things that the line did wrong. And pretty much, you know, being a running back with the line, you know, you got to connect. And um, I just think that this year I'm a much more uh, mature individual. And uh, I just uh, 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 think I'm just much more confident this year in my play. So. Now, 10 and 0's happened to you guys before. Mm -hmm. Last year you made the run to the state title game. Compare this year's team to last year's team. Well, you know, this, this team is. Uh, has, has got a lot of talent, a lot of underclassmen talent as well. You know, a lot of underclassmen talent. But uh, this senior leadership of being there, you know, last year I thought we had great leadership, leadership, but uh, the senior leadership being there and the experience is going to really hopefully pay off in games like this. And I think it did, just like what Brandon Simmons and those seniors were able to do, because we we're also running behind some. Now, what do fans have to look forward to with a playoff run? Now, I, I, you know, take it game by game, and obviously, coaches cliche be one and zero, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can go get up, make our way to go play in the snow up in Charlottesville. Fantastic, well, coach! Congratulations again, Andy Hilton here with Chris Scott from Ocean Lakes High School. Ten and zero season. Thirty-five to twenty-three, Ocean Lakes victory over Salem.